Hey everybody, how you doing? We are getting ready to make some guacamole. Uh, <laughs> uh, I have tried to get my things out here that I'm going to need. Now today I'm going to tell you, I've got this phone sitting further away from me. So I'm going to have to walk around and pause it when I have to. I know a lot of people saying that they can't see as well. Well, my kitchen is little. And I don't have a lot of space. And a lot of times I sit this on the counter where I can reach and ink. But I don't do that reaching out too far anymore because I've learned not to. Uh, but I have my limes. I've got two limes. I have three Roma tomatoes. I have two avocados. I have five green onions. And I have some cilantro. Now, in a few minutes, I'm going to cut these up while... You all are just back chilling. I'm going to cut this stuff up and have it ready. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need in it. <laughs> um, uh, not right off hand, but I will be back in just a second and we will get started. Okay, guys, we're back. And I have prepped quite a few of the things. I have my green onions cut up right here. There's probably about two thirds cup. And here's some chopped cilantro. This is two Roma Matas, tomatoes, you know, that have been diced up. And this is a, some black beans that I have put in the colander and rinsed and got all the, the packing juice off of it. And I have some avocados here. Uh, one of them had a bad place in it, so I cut that out. And I'm going to use three avocados rather than just using two. I've got my two limes over here. I have my trusty little juicer. <laughs> and I have some garlic paste here. You can use, uh, you know, garlic uh, cloves and mince them yourself, whatever you want to do. I'm just using this because this is easier for me. And I have my bowl here. And I saved one of the avocados in case some of you all... An avocado is actually um, a berry, I think is what it says. And it's got this one big seed in it. Sometimes you can get them out by just kind of gouging under. But the way they show you to do it is to do it like this. Stick your knife in it and turn it sideways a little bit. You just poke it and then turn it just a little bit and it'll pop right out. And it has a big old seed, huge seed. Oh, me. Now, let me wipe my hand off there. Got avocado all over me. So, we're going to scoop out the avocado. Now, mine is probably going to be a, a little riper than I would like it, but it, it's going to be all right. Uh, you just take your spoon, go right around the edge of it, and it will come right out of the hole. And I'm going to lay it right like that for the time being. I'm going to get all of mine out of the hole here and put it on my little work mat. Because I'm not going to mash these, I'm going to just kind of chop them up because um, I've, I've listened to a lot of different people about this and uh, mine has kind of got a few little spots on it where they're getting pretty ripe. So I'm going to scrape that off. I don't. It, when you get too close to the rind on something like that, that can happen. Uh, but this will definitely be a learning experience for me and you. <laughs> um, I love cooking anything. I mean, I like cooking new things, old things. Uh, and, a, and an avocado is just like any other food. If you get some on it that looks like it's a bad spot, cut it out. Don't put that in your stuff because, I mean, it's it's a, it's just like anything. It can have a bad spot. Sometimes when I cut potatoes, I have to kind of cut out bad spots. Okay, now, I'm going to take my knife. And I'm just going to kind of uh, chop these up like this. One lady I saw the other day, she said do it with a potato masher, you know, and leave them in big chunks. 
but mine is soft enough that I don't think that would probably be a good idea. So I'm just going to slice mine up in little slices here and then cut it into little cubes. If you like guacamole, I don't think it's really going to be a whole lot of difference to you. <laughs> I got one more. This doesn't take too long like this. Now, now I'm going to put these in my bowl. Okay. Put my dirty thing over there in the sink. Now, I'm going to take my hands because your hands do less damage to delicate fruits, okay? Let me rinse my hands off here. Uh, and yes, I have washed my hands many times this morning. <laughs> and my neighbor, Andrea, is not concerned about my hands, let me tell you. But I will be using uh, my spatula to do the rest of it. Now we're going to, let me get my other, I've got three or four of these things. I've learned to have a bunch. What I'm going to do now is cut my lime where I can clean my knife off. Cut the lime. And we want, the rule of thumb is, for every avocado you have, you need a tablespoon of lime juice. So that's a good thing to remember, or lemon juice, whichever one you use. Now, this is something that I don't necessarily like to do because it this something like this hurts my neck. So I have to be careful what I'm doing here and not... Make it any worse. Okay, I've got... Uh, Got one and a half tablespoons right now. Now let me get my other one up here. And I'd already rolled them on the counter to soften them up. Okay. There is, see if I can get my thing loose. If I don't have my hand on it. Let me put it over. That's two tablespoons right there. So I'm going to put the other tablespoon. They should have an electric juicer for old people. <laughs> uh, okay, now, there's my limes. I'm done with those. Now, I'm going to mix in some garlic. And I'm going to put in about, well, actually, well, maybe this will be, I'll just do it in little divots. I don't want to put too much, but I want it to mix up with everything. Okay. Now, we're going to put in our tomatoes, our onions. Now, you can use a regular white onion, or white onion is usually what they use in guacamole, but you use what you have. It doesn't have to be a white onion. It's just that it seems like white onions are what they like, but I'm using green onions today. And then I'm putting in my cilantro. That looks like a lot. <laughs> it might not be, but I swanny it looks like a lot. <laughs> uh, I'm going to mix this up now. Just kind of get everything 
mushed together. And then this is probably going to be better if you put it in the refrigerator and let it sit for a little while. Okay, now I'm going to put my black beans in. If you don't like black beans, leave them out. You don't have to put it in. And my friend Andrea can tell you what, it, what she thinks about it. She's the one that's going to be eating this. My neighbors are the benefactors of a lot of my cooking. Because I can't eat it all. <laughs> and I'm glad that there's somebody around that wants to eat it. So now, this is what it looks like. We've got it all made. Now, we're going to put it in a container. I have these containers. These are Ziploc containers, and I really like them. But I'm going to do it right like this. get my little tad that I dropped on the floor there, or not on the floor, on the mat. Now, I'm not going to press on it too much, but I'm going to try to just kind of press out any air pockets. Okay, now, this is when the saran wrap comes in. Take a piece of saran wrap and you put it down in over the container and you press it down plumb against the guacamole. Don't leave any air pockets there. And if you want to just stick it inside the container and press it down against it, you could probably do that. I don't know why you couldn't or why that wouldn't work. Just something to keep the air, the oxygen, away from it. Now I'm going to wipe off my top a little bit. And I'm going to put a lid on it. And now you can see some pretty guacamole. I'm going to put it in the refrigerator. And... Miss Andrea, you have to get on here and tell these people what you think about it. <laughs> but I hope you all make you some guacamole today. The next one I'm going to be making will be uh, one without cilantro. I'm going to put basil in it. So stay tuned. Okay, guys. <laughs> I got in such a big hurry putting the guacamole together a while ago and trying to not make these videos so long, and it caused me to forget a couple of key ingredients that I had to put in, which I did. Uh, one of the ingredients mm -hmm. is you wanna use a teaspoon of Tabasco sauce, hot sauce, or you can use chopped jalapenos, whichever you'd rather use. I just use this because my friend doesn't, uh, she doesn't do a lot of real spicy, so I'm using this. It works good and I don't have to try to chop it and worry about getting the jalapenos in my eyes or irritating my skin. As you can see, I have psoriasis really bad, so I'm careful with my skin. Or you can use red, crushed red pepper flakes. You can, you can use about a quarter teaspoon of these if you like the little bit of heat in it. Another thing is you need a, a half a teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper in it. So mix that in with it, guys. Don't leave that out. The salt's what gives it its flavor. And I'm sorry I was rushing around, but I did go back and put mine in and put it back in the container. So add that in, guys. <laughs> I will talk to you all later. Bye.